afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to just another installment of Just Another OTR Guy. Just Another OTR Guy here, coming at you live from the pilot in S Stanfield, Oregon. Oregon. Anyway, today we are going to do um, an overview of install installing oh my beard's all fucked up I need a shower installing ADD sorry installing train horns uh, onto your truck the way I'm doing it for now is I'm doing it the actual uh, electric way with the uh, solenoid and a quarter inch airline going to an airline for the truck which I don't have the right fitting to put it straight to the secondary tank which I guess is best but I think I found a spare air quarter inch airline by my door but if you know what this airline is for please comment down below and let me know because everybody if I have asked has no fucking idea what it's to it's got a brass cap and that's it the fit in, the quarter inch airline goes to the brass cap and it's sitting on a plate by the driver's side door jam so i'm gonna get up under the truck and look and make sure it doesn't go to anything important and if it doesn't then we're gonna be splicing into that otherwise i was going to put a uh, a y a y fitting from the train horn to uh to, to the air horn to the train horn jesus christ i'm all over the fucking place otherwise i was also going to use my seat air uh modified instead of putting it on a fitting but all of which probably aren't awesome but we'll go from there otherwise I mounted the horns last night. I'll go show you. Let's do let's get to it so I can show you how to do it. I don't sound rushed at all, do I? <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of APUs and a reefer next to me and trucks running and shit, so it's a little loud, but let's go check it out. Oh shit. So this is where I installed them last night. Boom. On one of the uh Aerofin pieces. We've got our, our two connections. From what I understand, they're both they're symmetrical or whatever the word you want to use. Either will work for power. But we're gonna find out when we hook them up. I'm probably gonna cut these plugs off and splice. And then we have our quarter inch. I put a quick connect on it instead because I didn't have rubber hose to slide on to the one that comes on it from the store. And then I'm gonna run line and power, probably right to that crease, down, under, possibly through, but we'll see. And then, dirty, dirty, dirty inside. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. I'll probably drill right through here. Run my power. Yep. Up through in this plastic, uh, the siding. Through. Onto the door panel. Up through here. Up through there. To a spare switch right there for my uh for my horn so i can honk honk with it <laughs> honk honk so this is the other airline i was talking about that was a quarter inch and it goes to this which i honestly don't know what the fuck it is never even thought to look it made me wonder if it was some kind of hookup for I don't know, towing or something, but now it's just makes me think that it's some kind of accessory thing. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably pop this off, splice, 
and run the power. Flathead pops this off. Boom, run your wires through and up and done. That's it. Not too hard. Uh, we'll give it a go. Hopefully I can get them working. Yeah. Okay, so I think I figured it. So, as far as I can tell, this is an accessory line that goes up to my air horn. Goes through there, down, right here. It's got a, uh, another Y split. And so there's a black and a green line hooked up to my air horn. And I'm pretty sure this black line comes off of it and goes right here to this. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Gonna run the airline and the power line through, like I said, which is what I used to hook these up to my blue lights underneath my bunk uh, in the back. So I'm gonna basically do the same exact thing and bring it through undo this uh, inline connection done yes girl fucking easy baby easy all right so first and foremost i did a test all right so i've got my two solenoid wire wires hooked up one power one ground it works either way so just pick one, power ground, power ground. Then I have my quarter inch air line and I did not spend the time to run them because I wanted to make sure it worked first. And so now I have, I just put this fitting on here like this. I'm gonna probably just splice it into this so that floor, that foot plate covers it and it's not like this where I have to drill a hole here or whatever to do that. And then I ran it. Bam. Ground power. That's the same thing. Check my other video about using these spare switches for the T680. Hook it up to the power. And then I used one of those cheapo splicers for the ground just to see. And let's fire it up and see if it works. I haven't done it yet. I'm excited. Let's see. wired up shrink tubed I set it through this support here the hose air hose airline and the wires I'm gonna put some of that flex tubing around it when I'm done and that's gonna go through here taking this drill bit and I'm gonna drill a hole I don't know if you can see that right there to go to the under support and then from the under support to this fucking shithole mess right here. Bam. And then I'm going to run it that way. Through there to the airline. Bada bing, bobbity boopy. Sibbity sabbity, give me the bobbity. Update. Connected. Down. That's not stowed or, or good yet. Boom. Pull. Drill the hole up through the bottom here. Put a grommet and some silicone in a second. That'll lay down. It's laid down underneath here. Ran through there with fish tape. So now, got my quarter inch airline with my fish tape. And I did the same thing with my wires. I pulled it through this bundle of crap here behind the fridge and then it's gonna go up through to the switch and we're done all 
right, so here we are. Got our power cord and our airline, quarter inch airline. And we've got our quarter to quarter union. I put a quick connect, which a lot of people aren't big fans of, on first. And I actually cut this length that was right here. And it went to this because this is entirely auxiliary to begin with, I believe. And if I ever have to put it back for whatever reason, I'll just leave this. I've got compression ones that I'm gonna put on once I make sure that everything's good. Take Just takes more time to put the compression ones together uh, and then route it back to this if I have to. Otherwise, I'm gonna take this plate off and get rid of it all together. But, run zip ties neatly up under. What can I see? Oh well. Going up and through. I'm gonna stow this a little better. Get it out of the way. And then it's up to the wiring, the accessory plug, and the neutral wire unioned with that. And that's it. Gonna put it back together. Floorboards back on. And I need to do another video when I buy some new weather stripping. Cause this air just pours right through this thing. It's all broken and busted. Time to put it back together. Yeah. And that is that. Got our dash put back together. We've got done it's real easy it's real simple that's all it takes run your lines install your shit find a good place to mount it sorry if the lighting's bad but that's it if you did like this please like subscribe follow me if you want to see other stuff also um if you want to learn a little bit more on how to take your dash apart please see the video if i can remember to tag it for uh running chicken wire to spare switches it shows a lot better on how to take your dash apart if you haven't haven't done that otherwise have a nice night drive safe and as always bye!